The early settlers came from northern Italy, Swiss Italian, in the 1870s after the gold rush. When times got really tough over in Europe, they started coming over when they heard about the gold rush. They came into this valley, and then a lot of the families then developed their crops because it was very similar growing condition to the Swiss Alps. They're mysterious, they're cathedral-like. Oh, I think they're awesome. And this really tells you how people lived over 150 years ago. We love owning a little piece of history. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. They've always been willing to preserve the barn. This is part of our history and this is a legacy. Barns like people, they have so many years they're they're gonna stay up. There's there's still a lot of them left, but there's I can count dozens that I've seen go down in my time. We've lost so many of the barns. A lot of them have blown down over the years just for age. The winds are not to be sneezed at. <laughs> they are a force. You can be 60, 70 mile an hour winds. These big valleys create their own weather. We had a microburst come through, and then they said it was about 130 some miles an hour. They say it got underneath the eaves and it just kind of sucked it over. It's not just the Sierra winters. These barns and ranches face another threat. Seeing the pressure of development in these beautiful rural mountain valleys. The other thing is the wood. I get more people stopping to buy a barn because they want the old wood to put in their homes. This abandoned ranch here, people would go in and start taking siding off the building because it's weathered and it's, you know, you can't match it. A pessimist would tell you these barns are doomed. But up here, folks just don't give up. fighting back with cement and shovels, hammers, and pure determination. I feel this obligation to save this barn is too valuable to let go. Ron Bossert is fighting to save an old barn in Sierraville. It looked like it didn't have too much more life, so I figured I'd uh, try to extend the life of this barn, put a foundation under it. This is how you save history. Ron and an army of workers race to shore up the barn. All over these valleys are similar stories. We had to put new foundations in. All, all the stem walls have been shored up. We're working to restore them. And here's another barn we found that probably would have been lost were it not for a dedicated group on a special mission. New siding, new footers, a new roof on this barn. People are rolling up their sleeves and trying to protect these hallmarks of another age. Here in the High Sierra, these barns are celebrated in art. It's as big as a cathedral. In song. My window faces the sun. I'm almost halfway to heaven. And in the old storytelling. Because up here, the past still lives. They're a real treasure in this area. They're part of our lives and we love it. We really brought this barn to life. Up here, they are saving history, saving the big barns of the High Sierra.